Hi, welcome to this tutorial series about how to create next-gen graphics within Unreal Engine 4. My name is Tobias Tobasco, and if you ever wondered how to create a scene uh, shown below, for example, from Cyberpunk with all the nice uh, ray tracing effects going on, the reflections, the global illumination, then the volumetric fog effects, um, the, the realistic lighting breaking through the atmosphere, and all of that, then yeah, you've come to the right place because that's exactly what we're going to do. You don't need 500 people to create a scene like that. I think um, you can do it alone with the power of Unreal Engine and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we're going to do a bit more of a realistic scene here with the, with the photogrammetry assets and the realistic water going on. And I think right now is the perfect time to do that because with Unreal 4.26 we finally have like all of these world building tools like volumetric clouds, sky atmosphere, water, all of them are kind of in, come together into one entity that is usable. <laughs> it's still experimental here and there, but it, it's in a really good state to work with. And yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I've compiled a small list of, of tutorials I want to do. So each one of these is going to be an individual tutorial, like 30 to 60 minutes or something, and covering each one of these topics in depth. Um, yeah, so the first one is of course um, setting up the scene with the new Sky Atmosphere system, which is really easy to use and um, already looks great out of the box. And then once we've set up the scene properly with all the settings that we want and all the nice stuff in it that we want, uh, we quickly gonna cover ray tracing. So I think you don't need an RTX card to do ray tracing, you need a card that supports x 12 which most graphics cards do nowadays. It's probably not going to run as smooth, but I still want to cover it because we are talking next gen here, so I assume you have a card that is quite powerful, um, or that we will have cards that are quite powerful in the future. So yeah, ray tracing of course with the reflections, the ambient occlusion, the global illumination and all of this. And the next step is setting up a scene with probably, uh, sorry, properly calibrated Quixel Megascans assets. Um, we can use all of these because Epic uh, bought a Quixel, so all of these assets are free to use for us, which is absolutely incredible. It's a massive library of 3D assets and, and textures, and they are all properly calibrated for next generation lighting, basically. And yeah, we can build a scene with all of these. And after that, uh, next tutorial is going to be about the volumetric effects like the volumetric fog and the volumetric clouds. And the volumetric fog has been the agent, uh, in the engine for ages, but I think now there are some new techniques with volumetric textures that you can use um, to shape this fog a bit more realistically. Just rather than having a blurry mass, we can, we can make it a bit more wispy and so on and break it up a bit more. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And the same goes for the volumetric clouds. They of course look great out of the box, um, but if we want to go for a certain look, like a specific look of clouds, then we will need these volume textures to break it up. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then lastly, we're gonna take a look at the new water system, which is absolutely amazing. Like it looks great out of the box. The only issue that I have with it is that it kind of looks stylized and I want to go for a realistic scene. So. Uh, we can take a look at how we can change this material a little bit to to make the entire water look a bit more realistic. Yeah, and in the end, just to get some nice results, we can set up some post-process effects and oh, we'll take a maybe a small cinematic camera with a with a small uh, sequence of scene and fly through the scene to render out a nice result. Um, I mean, the goal is, of course, to have this all running in real time as, as we're kind of aiming for next gen games. Yeah, But I think it's still good to uh, also do some cinematics with this as it's both relevant. Yeah, um, yeah, and that was already the introduction. And I think we can start right away with setting up the scene. Have fun.